I just, I just, I'm just saying, who, who comes up with this stuff, guys? This was, who in... is everyone doing this is joe with ohio woodburner and guys i'm excited today this is the yapa 315 this is a three point hitch pto powered firewood processor and it works really just like my yapa 365 and if you remember my earlier videos it had the log lift on it and you know this has got the log lift it's got the shorter conveyor just like mine the big difference this is pto power there's no separate engine on this when the Yampa team was out here this winter, they built that log deck for my 365. This one was on their trailer and they asked if they could leave this behind. They were on their way to New Jersey. I said, sure. And they're gonna pick this up later in the fall. So this is not mine. Uh, I'm just leaving it here. But Bob uh, from Metza Machine says, I'm more than welcome to run it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I had a number of logs that are just smaller diameter. I got some hickory and cherry, and I just thought, let's let's pull this thing out and let's see what it can do. This is really, it works the exact same way as the 365. It's just smaller, and it um, takes a maximum 12 inch log where my 365 takes a 14 inch. Uh, it's got a four way knife, so you can split two way or four way, but you know, it's got all the same stuff. Positive stop, the high speed saw, standard bar and chain it uses bar and chain oil and uh it's got a the the log lift that my machine used to have before we installed the live deck and then it's got a uh a stacker on the outside of it these are the logs i have ready to go through it i got some smaller cherry i got about a 10 inch cherry and then the rest are hickory so we're going to give the splitter a workout and we'll see how it can handle um you know tougher wood This is all self-contained, it all folds up, and I, uh, you just pull this pin and that helps the, uh, the log lift come down. And let's see how this goes. And this is on a shock absorber assist, so it helps you pick it up and lay, uh, lay it back down. That comes down pretty cool. This is the in-feed, it's secured with a spring, and you can lower this down. And this bar slides into this rest. And there you go. And that tensions the infeed belt. So our infeed's already set to go. And this has a seven and a half foot conveyor. And I'm just gonna be shooting this right into my dump trailer. So it, it has this protective flapper, but I am gonna tie it up so you guys can see the, the splitter better during uh, while we're running it. One of the other big differences, this has got manual control, so you have a pull down lever. And uh, when you pull down, the saw runs, when you push it up, it engages the splitter. And when you push it a little farther, it uh, runs the infeed, so you're getting your next log. Uh, the other difference too, this has got a manual uh, height adjustment for the, for the nut. 
knife where mine is hydraulic. So, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up the tractor. It says it has to have 400 RPM at the PTO. So I'm just going to go off my speedometer and try to figure out where the sweet spot is. All right, here we go. So that was really cool, guys. <laughs> it, there are subtle differences that I am not used to that my machine has, but uh, this is fast. So now we're gonna put in a bigger log. This is about an eight inch cherry, and let's see how it handles this. I wasn't paying attention. This is a hickory log. It's not cherry. So this is tougher splitting. again and re-split it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nossa! Let's take a look, guys. Uh, this is, it's all 16 inch. And uh, it's just four ways. So some of these bigger logs, you know, I might want to re-split these. This was a lot of hickory. And, you know, I wasn't, <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. It sure looked like a cherry log. But I started cutting it and it smelled like hickory. And sure enough, but, you know, it had enough power to split all these. And hickory is a tough log uh, to split. But it was just the four way and some of these i wasn't hitting dead center it takes a while before you can see it with your eyes and where to get it adjusted but you know it made nice firewood and i just i just i'm just saying who who comes up with this stuff guys this was who and and you see these in europe you know and there's a bunch of videos uh here on youtube you know with these pto powered machines but Gosh, I mean, it is such a, it's an amazing <laughs> attachment. You know, I mean, it, it goes on the three point hitch of your tractor, it's PTO power. And good heavens, you can just zip through log after log after log with these things, you know? I, I'm just, it's hard for me to even explain, you know, how, <laughs> I, when I think of the, of a processor, you know, I think of mine, it's just stationary kinda, or, you know, the real big, um, uh, Bells and Easton made uh, processors, but holy cow, it's such a small footprint on the back of a PTO on the back of a three-point hitch, and it's a for real processor. But this is um, this thing worked pretty slick. So here are some of my observations. You know, when I was running this uh, with the hood down, you know, it's got the safety guard, uh, which is in line with the bar, so you're not getting showered with chips and oil there it is a little hard to look into because i'm standing here working this and this is right in the way of the splitting chamber so i, I don't know if i need to look this way or this way and you know that's where you want to adjust your this is where you adjust your knife up and down and that's why you know it's hard for me to to judge where it goes so i was not hitting some of these logs dead center that's the first thing um, if I'm comparing this two to my 365, the first thing that I noticed is the in feed doesn't go backwards. Uh, like on mine, it does. This one will only go forwards because there are some times when you've advanced the log or, you know, and you need to move it back so you can get into the splitting chamber and it, you gotta, you gotta use muscle, you know, you gotta pull up on the spring and, and push back on the log. The splitter is engaged. The splitter comes out when the when the saw is cutting, and when to get the splitter to retract, you have to push back, which also engages the infeed. Well, there's nothing that's stopping me from stopping the ram, so that I can, you know, if you're on your last cut, you know, you want to run it in and measure your off cut. And that is just, you know, functionality. That's just getting used to it. Uh, there's some things on this machine, you know, I still have to get used to. I just think that it would be exactly the way that my 365 is, but there are some subtle differences to it. I think it is not as fast as the 365, but you know, it shouldn't be. It's a smaller machine, but um, you know, the, the manual thing, I always thought that this would be a pain. It really isn't. There isn't a lot of vibration. You can feel it a little bit, but it's nothing like you know, running, um, running a, a chainsaw without anti-vibe. It's nothing like that where your hand's buzzing when you're done. Uh, and you can control the pressure on this too. So uh, that was, um, uh, I, I think that the hand controls is fine. The big thing though, guys, that, you know, we got to talk about is, you know, it's being powered by a tractor, right? And tractors are expensive. So do you want to put all of these hours onto your tractor. So that's what makes this um, processor as affordable as it is. You know, it doesn't have an engine on it. So that's obviously cheaper. Okay, so my tractor's new. It's under a warranty, but you know, do I wanna put hours on my tractor to run a firewood processor when you could buy, you know, a, like a lawnmower engine to power it? 
But I also think if you have tractors where you really don't care about the hours on them anymore, um, this might be the way to go. <laughs> and I'm smelling this hickory, it smells awesome. But it made nice firewood, 16 inch pieces and um, you know good splits. I think the splitter power was fine. It got hung up on one, but it kind of had a weird knot in it. And I was able to uh, knock it off of the uh, knife pretty easy. And I just turned it around and had it go through the other direction. It went through fine. So this is splitting hickory, guys. I didn't put maple. Um, I did those first two logs were cherry and it went through real easy. Hickory though gave it a good test and it passed it in my opinion. And there you go, guys, the Yappa 315. <laughs> this, was, this was a lot of fun. It, it's just, I'm just amazed by machines. And uh, this thing is so cool, man. It's, it, you can carry it around with your tractor. <laughs> I'll take it. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, running this and just showing you a different kind of machine. And, um, you know, I'll probably be running this again because I can see, you know, when I get some of these smaller logs that'll be off on this other pile. It just might be easier for me to set this next to it and just process like that. If you haven't done so, please hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Check out our online store for our t-shirts and our sticker sales. Uh, all of that money goes to help pay for my daughter's college. And she's been a big help with these videos. Okay, guys, I hope that everyone has a great day.